It is the 11th of April, 2016, and I am Ralph Turciano to informally go over the top three health headlines of the past week. So let's start off with number one. Is a popular painkiller hampering our ability to notice errors? Now that was the suspicion of the research in regard to a painkiller called acetaminophen. This is what the researchers concluded. It looks like acetaminophen makes it harder to recognize an error which may have implications for cognitive control in daily life. Keep in mind this was a double blind crossover placebo study. And what to take from this is as follows. Researchers are, researchers are basically saying if you have something important to do, a task, a test, or whatever it is, if you can potentially avoid taking a set of benefit because it may reduce your ability to recognize errors, it's not a bad idea that you do. Number two, we are looking at scientists discover how Chinese medicinal plant makes anti-cancer compound. The reason this research was so vital is as follows. There are certain flavones found in the roots of this plant which do as follow. They have antiviral, antioxidant effects, but even more importantly, and in their quote, at least in a lab, can also kill human cancers while leaving healthy cells untouched. The plant, Chinese skullcap. Not exactly a rare plant, actually fairly common, but that's why this research was so incredibly vital so these discoveries can eventually make it into the open market. Number three, we're looking at an incredibly innovative uh, project that was done by Canadians, I should say Canadian researchers, and the title of the research was as follows, Canadian innovation for killing mosquito eggs could help Zika fight. What is it? It's not a new medicine, it's not a new vaccine, it's basically a couple of car tires assembled in such a way that basically attracts these female mosquitoes or vectors, or whatever you want to call them, and they lay their eggs in these car tires and then those mosquito eggs meet their demise. Now they did this research over a 10 month period and I'm going to link uh, on how to make these car tire projects too as far as, you know, so you can see it for yourself. So what they did was as follows. They did this 10 month project, they put these little car tire contraptions up that attracted the female mosquitoes that spread disease to lay their eggs and reduce the mosquito populations down. They put in these small towns where basically they would have an average of a say, let's say three dozen cases of dengue over a 10 month period of time. After they put these little devices called avientas, if I'm pronouncing it properly, if I'm not, I apologize, there were no new cases of dengue reported. That is phenomenal result of a dime dozen craft project that could save an untold number of lives. Again, I'll link how to make it down below. That's the top three health headlines of the past seven days. And thank you very much for listening. And I really do hope to see you again next week. Thanks once again. Catch you then. Bye.